All right, folks. Let's fry some wild turkey. So what I got is I went in there and I picked all. Uh, these have been in vacuum sealed in the freezer since last spring. You know, we killed them in Kentucky. But uh, picked through, got all the feathers, tried to get all the shot. If I see where a shot went through, I go ahead and cut down. That way, you you know, because it'll drag those feathers and all through the breast and everything. So I try to pull all that out. And I for sure want to get those shot out, especially those tungsten. Those new TSS tungsten, let me tell you, if you bite down on that, you're probably going to bust a tooth. So make sure you get all that out, cut it against the grain. Probably three-quarter inch thick what I do. I mean, I know everybody's got their own thing, own way of doing it, but uh, all the fat, I always get all that off too. You know, I try to get all that fat stuff off. We don't need all that. But uh, what I'm doing is buttermilk. And can cooker sent me some seasoning. I think I'm using the original seasoning salt right here. So what I'm gonna do is just mix all that together. I'm gonna put some of this uh, seasoning salt in here and marinate it in this buttermilk for just a little bit. You could do this overnight if you wanted to. Then we're gonna mix it all around. Make a heck of a mess, I'm sure. And I can always go back and uh, add some more salt or black pepper. Yeah, I think I put a little bit of black pepper in there too. I love my black pepper. Like I said, we ain't making no mess this morning. I got jerky going over here in the dehydrator. Ooh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. It's cold, y'all. It's cold. Christmas morning. I had to do you another one on the on the uh, jerky. But uh, I'd ground this and then run it through one of those guns and 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 did it like that. That way, it's not so tough that it's, you know it's. You're sitting there. These these Alabama deer are super tough, so oh, you'll you'll snatch a tooth out of your head trying to bite down on, on it when you cut it with the grain. So I just went ahead and ground it and mixed my seasoning in there all in there with it, and then put it in that dehydrator right there. And I've been making a bunch of it. As a matter of fact, I got a bunch of it right in my refrigerator. I'll show you what it looks like anyway, and it is so good. I don't have a, have my own recipe. I mean, I, we used to do it like that, but now I just get that stuff from Bass Pro. But you see, it turns out really good. And it's not super tough. I mean, it's it's already been run through the grinder, so it's, it's not so bad. But y'all see that right there? So I wanna let that just sit. I may put a snooch more of this. Yeah. I wanna let that sit while I get the grease hot. And then I'm going to batter it in, in uh, self-rising flour. And fry it up. It don't take but a minute. And then we'll see what it looks like when I get done. Because mm, I know it's going to be good. Set this over here out of the way. Wash everything up. And uh, get the fry. Y'all hang in there. We're going to have something good in just a little bit. I promise you it's going to be good. Yeah, I wanted to show y'all this real quick. Oh, another thing can cook or something is pretty pretty slick. I mean, they got some good stuff. But all you got to do is put your flour in there. Yep. And then you just lay it in there. Lay them in there. Probably ain't got to take the time. I'm not, you know, I'm just now trying it out. So probably ain't got to take the time I'm taking, but I was just going to show y'all. We're learning together on this, but. Let's just try this out and see how this thing works. A 
Look at that. I mean, battered and ready to go. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Let me shake it around a little bit more. Yeah, and you ain't got flour all over the house, you know. That's what that's what I like. Oh yeah. That's the only way to go, ain't it? Yeah, I like that batter right there. It's gonna make it good. Y'all hang in there, we fixing to really make this house smell good. Alright, y'all take a look at that right there. Look what kind of crust that buttermilk makes right there. Check that out. Ain't that pretty? Woo! -hoo! Cooking with olive oil. It don't take long now, folks. If you overcook this turkey, it's gonna be like jerky. So don't so uh, don't don't sit there and cook it and cook it and cook it and cook it. People do fish the same way. They just there and cook it and cook it and cook it. You can't do that. You want it done, but you don't want it, you know, dried out. That's the main thing, because that's white meat. It, you know, on those breasts, it'll dry out real quick. So you've got to, you know, keep your heat hot at first, you know, just to brown it. And then keep, you know, sort of maintain it. But don't, don't just, don't burn it up. Don't overcook it. That's the biggest thing with wild turkey that people do. They say, oh, I don't like it. It's tough. It's, it's tough because they're overcooking it. So it shouldn't take, but I mean, I can't give you a time frame on it. I just play it by ear and then I'll take one piece out, like a thick piece or something and cut it. And just make sure we're uh, done inside. But I want it, so uh, I want it done, but I don't want it, you know, cooked to death. Y'all hang in there. We'll see what it looks like in just a minute. All right, folks, I got round two in there. And y'all look at round one right there. And I've already tried it. Let me tell you, it is fine. And that's all there is to it. Frying wild turkey is probably the easiest thing in the world. It's just, you can't overcook it. Look at that. Is that a beautiful side of what? Mm. And these things right here are like gold. They keep the clean up a whole lot better because let me tell you, it will splatter everywhere. That thing right there helps. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate y'all.